The barrage of threats kept up the pressure Thursday as North Korea lashed out at Washington and Seoul. The moment of explosion is approaching fast. No one can say a war will break out in Korea or not, and whether it will break out today or tomorrow. North Korean television aired rehashed threats to attack the U.S. with what they called cutting-edge, smaller, lighter, and diversified nuclear strike means. It's believed that North Korea does not have nuclear bombs small enough or missiles sophisticated enough to strike the U.S. mainland, but it is working to develop both. What Pyongyang does possess are rockets that pose a conventional threat to South Korea, Japan, and U.S. bases in the region. South Korea's defense minister said there were indications North Korea had moved a medium-range missile to its east coast as part of a drill or upcoming test launch. We are closely monitoring North Korea. As I told you before, we haven't found any signs of all-out war, but we consider that its provocation is always possible and we are ready for it. The U.S. announced Wednesday it was moving a missile defense unit to Guam two years ahead of schedule to protect naval and air bases there. On another front, the Kaesong Industrial Complex that has served as the only showcase of cooperation between North and South remained crippled. Pyongyang repeated threats to shut it down. As the government in North Korea keeps spinning out old and new threats, some wonder why the U.S. keeps reacting instead of going on the offensive, a diplomatic offensive focusing on helping the North revive its own economy. What we need right now is a diplomatic offensive. The North Koreans know what they're up against. They know we're strong. They know that the U.S. ROK alliance is, is like this. What will throw them off base is if we make a diplomatic attack essentially on them. And, and that's the next step. Diplomacy or deterrence? Given the abysmal track record of negotiations with the North, there would have to be a fundamental change on the diplomatic front. But Pyongyang's new nuclear and strategic threats are already forcing change when it comes to deterrence. Jim Clancy, CNN, Seoul.